they didn't let me stay in the airport for like those 12 hours. So oh, I had to leave. Really? Yeah. And I didn't have phone service. They didn't have nothing. And I was like, all right, great. Hey guys, okay, we've got a really cool guest with us today by the name of Javier. Now, That's right. <laughs> Javier, you are in a very unique position because you are from Colombia. Yes, I am. Bogota. Yep. And, but now you live in Utah, in Salt Lake, or Provo? I live in Provo. You live in Provo. So, so you have exposure from uh, church, you have church culture knowledge from inside mm -hmm. Utah and outside yeah. Utah. So that's what we want to talk about today. We want to pick your brain on this a little bit. Um, but first, tell us a little bit about yourself. Whoa. Why are you here? Are you going to school? Did you serve a mission? Uh, what's your experience in the church? Or are you a convert to the uh, church? I grew up in the church. I went to serve the mission in Peru, Lima, South. Okay. Just watching this. Okay. Uh, yeah, and then... How long ago did you get back? I came back like two years and a half. Two and a half Almost years. three years. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. So, so first I want to know... Um, was the church in Peru very similar to the church in Bogota? Uh, I wouldn't say that because, well, if you are like from South America, like, I don't know, Colombia, like the, the church in Colombia is not as big as it is in Peru. Like in Peru is really? huge. Like if you're walking on the street, you never talk to people and they know who you are. But like in Colombia, they don't know who you are there. I don't know. It's I don't know why it's different, but like in Peru is huge. The church is huge, huge, huge. That's so interesting. Because yeah. I think a lot of times like we talk about the church in South America, mm -hmm. right? And we assume that it's all the same. Yeah. But you're saying that it's it's huge in Peru, not as huge. Yeah. In also Columbia. because I think uh, the so like the church has like a hundred years in Peru. But in Columbia, has like 50 years. Gotcha. Ooh, hey, it's Justin. Come on in. Hi, I'm Justin. I'm this Javier. is Javier. Nice to meet you, Javier. He's from Colombia. We're talking about how the church is different in Colombia right. and, and the U.S. And uh, he served his mission in Peru. And apparently oh. the church is huge in Peru. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But not so much in Colombia, which is kind of surprising because Colombia's uh well, it's a huge city at least, mm -hmm. or Bogota is. Yeah. Um, what's the church like in Bogota? Well, so Bogota we have, I think it's 11 or like 10 stakes now. So yeah, it's not super huge, but, yeah. and yeah, not a lot of people outside the church know the church. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. right. Yeah. So the missionaries who are serving there, they're trying to like, they have to introduce the church to almost everyone, but like right. in Peru, when they're talking about religion, they include our church because they know like that's the, interesting. Yeah. So like the government, for example, like a government person would yeah. know like oh yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. Church of Jesus Christ Latter-day Saints. But in in Bogota, it'd be yeah, like, yeah, who? Like, who are you talking <laughs> yeah, about? Yeah, like, exactly. Is that, is that like hard? Is it hard to be a Latter-day Saint in where it's not a very popular religion? I, I guess he's it has his pros and cons, you know, mm -hmm. like. You you can introduce a new stuff to everyone, but like because they don't know, they can like judge you and like mm -hmm. bully you and stuff like that. But did, did, was that really common? Like, what was it common for people to be like, like, but kind of mean or misunderstand? Uh, well, it depends on everyone, I guess. Like, every person is different. But. There are yeah, there are a lot of people who who don't know the church, but they've heard bad things about mm. it or good things. And then there are people that just haven't heard anything. Yeah, exactly. Is that, you, do you find both of those groups in Colombia? More the group that just heard, they have, yeah. They have yeah. no idea? I've never had experience of someone who knows about the church and like the kind of bad background. Gotcha. Like I will say we don't have background. But like, right, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, you know what I mean? So, so yeah, so when you talk to your friends and you say like, oh yeah, I'm a member of this church, mm -hmm. like what, are they just like... Yeah, it, I had a funny story. So yeah. on, so we were in high school and we were in a religion religion class, and um, so they, 
So they say like, okay, we have, I assume we are like, all of you guys are Catholic, but if right. any of you is not Catholic, you can stand up. And well, me and another girl stand up. She was like, she wasn't from a like evangelic church, I guess. Oh, okay. I, I don't sure. know. Yeah, and well, I me, mean, I was a member of the church. So I introduced the church and they was like, all right, I never heard that church before. <laughs> and I was like, well, <laughs> maybe I can give a class about the church. And it's like, sure, why not? So I got, I prepared for like a month to do like an introduction to the church. Yeah. Wow. And I gave like the Book of Mormon to everyone. Right. It, it was great. Yeah. That's it was, sick. It was that's great. awesome. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, that's great. fantastic. See, that's everyone's. That's a great experience. Yeah, you know? it was great. Yeah. So then you came to the United States, yep. and not just the United States, but Utah of all places, the hub yeah. of yeah, the church. Exactly. Right. Was that kind of a shock to you? Was it? What did, you, what did you think? What were your impressions? Okay, so first, like, the first impression I have from U.S., so I came, I landed to, in Vegas, like, mm-hmm. Las okay. Vegas. Yeah. And I was like, whoa, like, yeah, I'm in Las Vegas. Yeah. That's crazy. Everyone, like, everyone about yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I was like, all right, cool. But then we were driving back to Utah, and my sister was here, and she's like, okay, when we pass Utah, I start counting the churches. And I was like, I'm not going to do that. That's too much. Yeah. Like, we were like, 10 minutes driving, we already count like 50 churches. Like, <laughs> wow. That's insane. Yeah. That's, yeah well, but, especially when there's only like like 10 stakes, you know, in Bogota and then like even like less buildings. You yeah, know? exactly. That's, like you, you see more Catholic buildings than our church buildings. Right. Buildings, yeah. But no, in Utah, there's literally like, a, if, I love it when you go on a hike anywhere, you know, you're on any hill, you just look out and you just see spires mm-hmm. like everywhere. It's yeah, just it's crazy. It's insane. And you can also see, oh, there's that temple. Oh, there's that <laughs> temple. Yeah. Yeah. My parents, they got married in the Peru temple. Oh, okay. So they live in Bogota. They have to, and they didn't have that much money. So they, actually President Nelson, I think he shared a story of a member from Colombia driving yeah, all the way to- Yeah, I remember, I remember the that. same it's story. the same yeah. thing. So it was like a week something That's to get insane. to Peru. It was, Just to get yeah. sealed. Yeah, it was crazy. So. Yeah. But so coming to Utah, what, what were the first things, I guess, like once you started to like, Settle down, start going your daily life. What are the things that started to like pop out at you? Is like, oh, this is different, you know. This is yeah. I feel like it's like the you also okay. So when you are from South America, I don't know why U.S. have like everyone loves U.S. Like in Colombia, <laughs> I don't know why. You get here and you're like, it's not that great. <laughs> I mean, yeah, everyone loves about Hollywood and like uh-huh. all the movies and then. The church, like, right. oh, El- uh, just, Salt Lake Temple. It's like, these things come from the U.S. Yeah. The U.S. must be great. And then you come here and just, like... It's the same. It, everyone has to work. Everyone has to study. <laughs> yeah. We're not all superheroes. Yeah. <laughs> That's same. true, though, because all the superheroes in Avengers, almost all of them are, like, American. Yeah, well, Captain America. Like, yeah. <laughs> Iron Man. Where's Captain Columbia? Yeah. You know? <laughs> what? Finally, someone's right. Oh. Yeah, and so, like, what what were the things that, like, most... About the church, maybe, that, like, were... Okay, so, yeah, that's a good thing. Okay, so, because the church isn't as big as it is in, like, in here or somewhere else. I feel like some of the Colombian culture gets in the church. Sometimes it's, like, more like a toxic environment kind of thing. Like, okay. there's not many gossips and stuff. Like I think it's the same here, but I haven't experienced I do, that. Yeah, so. I think it can be similar. I, I've yeah. noticed in, in the family wars, sometimes you get, like, mm-hmm. the moms. That's what I've noticed. The moms, the just, moms, they get a little bored, and they, like, have a little gossip sesh every once in a while. Mm. Yeah. I think that's just a people thing. I think it's, yeah, I th- sure. I'm sure it happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but what I meant to that is, like, okay, so because of the church isn't as big as it is, so, like, everyone don't know a lot of resources from the church to, like, know about, okay, like maybe uh, controversial topics from the church and you just like have to teach everything and sometimes you don't know everything mm-hmm. and they're gonna say they're gonna start a question like, okay what about this uh documentary and not you kind of thing i was like mm, i didn't know so like, yeah. <laughs> that's a great point because like you think about all the church resources and, or like even just like church history documents and information and it's all in english you know like how much Mm -hmm. because like the church itself 
is focused on, you know, increasing your faith in Jesus Christ. So, so they don't, you know, publish a whole lot of stuff on, you know, controversial topics, which means that not much is getting translated into Spanish. That's interesting. Like your ex, I mean, sure you can go, like the internet, but that's probably that's significantly more recent. Yeah. You know, within the yeah. last year or two that they've been really good at putting up mm-hmm. stuff. Like being here, did anything like try your testimony, you know, not even like, like the culture or anything, but just the change of lifestyle and stuff. Yeah. Were there things that were hard for you? Yeah. So I, I live by myself here. So like all my family is back in Colombia and, and it's kind of a challenge. I feel like uh, when you're by yourself, I think that's when your faith it gets dried up the mm-hmm. most. I feel I had an experience. I sang at the conference center oh, cool. in a Hispanic event and it was great. It was one of the best experiences of my yeah, life. That's yeah, that's so it was cool. Cool, and one of the parts of the, that re- say, rehearsal, so there was a testimony of a guy that said, "Like, well, when you go out of the country, you want to fit into the country, but also you part of another country, so like you're in, kind of in between, mm-hmm. and um, like you start doubting, like, okay, who am I? But like part of on his testimony, he said, like, um." what makes your home is the gospel like if you know if you follow the gospel and if you follow jesus christ i feel that's your home and i feel that's the same for me i feel like i've been trial i've been like i don't know who i am but like i know if you follow the gospel and jesus christ i'll be good yeah and Hmm. i feel yes i'm gonna cry that i don't know that was that was really (laughs) cool powerful yeah (laughs) When you you listen to general conference or you get you know messages from the prophet, uh, there's Salt Lake City or Utah is kind of put on a pedestal, mm-hmm. and it's like one day I'm gonna go see Temple Square, you know. Um, was that kind of the sentiment in the church in Columbia? As yeah, I think well? everyone who's a member of the church wants to come. Like, oh, I want to go to a general conference one day. Or yeah. Like, yeah, but like, so yeah. is it all it's cracked up to be? <laughs> what would you tell them now that you've been? I was like, well, if you want to come, come, but it's <laughs> not that big of a deal. <laughs> like, <laughs> like all my friends have came and we take pictures, and after that, it's like, all right, I, I'm passing to Temple so Square. True. I think the first time you go, you're like, oh, it's a cool building, mm. you know, it's a cool place. But then very quickly, you're like, I mean, yeah, you get, you get used to it. Yeah, you know? exactly. Uh, yeah, it's and kind of the same. Like for example, winter. Columbia, we don't have like seasons, right. so we <laughs> never seen the winter. snow before. <laughs> so you ca- you come, it's like, oh, let's meet the snow, and you actually find out it's freezing. It's, it's the yeah. worst. It's, it's like I, I now admit that I hate snow. <laughs> I hate driving the snow. It's the worst. Oh yeah. Well, do you, I wonder. That's funny because you probably watch all the Christmas movies about America, and you're yeah. like, snowmen, and yeah. like that's got to be so great. And we then, got dirt men sometimes. <laughs> Yeah. Dude, yeah, no, snow sucks. Yeah. Like, it really, yeah. it's fun for one day. Do you have any, like, advice for anybody who is maybe in the same situation as you that wants to come to the U.S. or just moved here? Any advice to help them just, like... Yeah, I feel like, okay, so I had an experience when I came back. So I, I flew to Colombia last, not this Christmas, but last Christmas. And uh, so I, I was coming back from Colombia to Utah. Mm-hmm. And I had a 12 hour layover in for Latter day. I didn't know right, where it was. Right. I was like so lost. Yeah, it's just in the middle of and nowhere, yeah. Apparently, they didn't let me stay in the airport for like those 12 hours. So oh, I had to leave. Really? Yeah. And I didn't have phone service. I didn't have nothing. And I was like, all right, great. Yeah. And um, That's terrifying. <laughs> yeah, it's the worst. And it was a Sunday at like 8 a.m. I said so like, well, maybe I can go to church. So I, I put in the Wi-Fi and I took screenshot of everything yeah. and tried to get there. I came to the yeah, church. Yeah, you made it. Yeah. And um, yeah, everyone I I talk, tried to talk with the missionaries or the bishop and they never show up. I was like, All right, great. I don't know what time is the sacrament and like nothing. And there's this member came and he's like, okay. Is have you been here before? The, yes, I'm a member of the church all the time, like for my whole life. Yeah. He's like, okay, so come. There is an 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 hour later we having like the sacrament meeting. So go partake of the sacrament, and then I'll pick you up and 
give you some food because I didn't have anything yeah. to eat. And he's like, and I'll show you around. And I was like, great. <laughs> and part of his, uh, of part of the experience, he told me that if you're a member of the, of the church, no matter where you go, you always have family. So I think if you're in the same situation, yeah. if you're a member of the church, you, we always have a family here in yeah. the church. And if you, yeah, that, that yeah. would be your home. Just all, yeah, we're, we're everywhere. Yeah. And, and, and if you're, we're here, you know, on your, your phone or your computer. Yeah. <laughs> and um, thanks, man. That was awesome. That's yeah. so cool. So uh, if you guys have any questions or, or comments, like, please leave them. I think like, if, you have, if you have any questions for, um, what, do you have like an Instagram or I guess? Well, I, I have a YouTube channel I just started. Oh, like, awesome. Four months ago. I kind of. What is it called? Learning. It's called the Javier Arrieta channel. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. So, we'll, so we'll leave a link there if you have any more questions because I think you have some unique experiences that you're yeah. sharing. Yeah. Awesome.